Years ago, I actually had an idea of a platform for collectors that would be a balance between like eBay and also uh, Facebook. So instead of having to go into groups in Facebook, you would be able to meet up with collectors uh, just off an eBay type platform. So you could sell, buy, or trade on this website, but then you'd also be able to customize your profile and show off your collection and, and meet new people on there. And then the store idea came once Jake and I actually met. Uh, and that actually happened really quickly. Jake and I had met uh, while we were playing football for the Med City Freeze here in Rochester. Uh, I played on defense and so did Jake and we kind of got to know each other through that because we actually were in the same Facebook group which was a toy collecting Facebook group and from there it just kind of blossomed. You know, I don't think as a child you think of wanting to own a toy store or a comic book store. I think what happens is I was very much into toys when I was a kid, just like Jake was. So I played, I mean, I had Masters of the Universe, I had G.I. Joes, I had Transformers, I had Mask, if you remember Mask. And so, you know, as you become an adult, you just kind of grow out of that scenario. And I was kind of brought back into it by collecting and selling things. And so it just came back up, it almost like it boiled back over to where we wanted to do this. I think just even the store alone, you know, when we opened the store, we wanted to have an open philosophy, kind of like what I would say Walmart and Target did. And I only compare them in that sense because instead of just carrying comics or toys or Legos or board games, we wanted to have everything nerdy under one roof. Uh, another philosophy that we wanted to have was involving the community and being able to do things here at the store. Uh, even when we have 1100 square feet, that was still an idea. We couldn't do it, but it was an idea. So for instance, we have uh, Commander Night, which is a magic, the gathering night here on Friday nights, which allows people to come in with their decks and play against each other for fun. It's a very fun and open community as far as that goes. Wednesday nights, we do Dungeons and Dragons nights. Uh, we have about 14 people currently that come in and they'll actually set up. Uh, one of our employees actually leads the whole thing and then they get to play as a character that they have built. We also have arcades here for kids or adults to come in and hang out and have fun with. We do video game tournaments once a month and then uh, we have a company called Critical Role that comes in and they do smash tournaments or smash friendlies on Thursday nights. Another fun thing that we do is we reach out to local either businesses or entrepreneurs and we allow them to come in. So we've worked with uh, Nikki Novotny on uh, Art on the Go where she'll actually have a class in our store where they can paint something that's related to superhero, whether it's like boards or it's a canvas uh, bag for kids to keep for school. Uh, so we really try to involve the community and have things here that they can do in a, within a budget really. The impact that I want is, I, I feel like this city is big enough and doesn't have anything like what we are and I feel it deserves it. Uh, so the impact that I want is I, I want what I had as a kid or other adults had as kids, that Toys R Us or that Kmart or whatever it was where when you went there you just had that great feeling when you went in. As soon as you go in you're just, you know, enamored by all of the things that are in the store and all the cool things that you can do and see. Um, I mean, that's why we do the parades locally. That's why we actually put on a Comic-Con a couple years ago and we do it every year now. It's, we bring in movie stars, TV stars, we bring in cosplayers. We do so many things at this Comic-Con and we do it for the city so that they have something fun to do. I feel like we've done a really good job in the time that we've been open. So we've only been open for three years and we've gone from 1,100 square feet to 6,000. And we've gone, we've grown exponentially on what we do every single month. Um, now, profits and margins aren't everything about it, I would love to say, because it's really what this atmosphere brings to everybody. Um, we're not nearly where we'd like to be still. Um, I think we're doing a great job. However, I have very lofty goals 
and my goal is to hopefully one day franchise. I would love to see Nerd and Notes all over. I would love to be a part of that, be a part of something really big that started from something so small. Uh, but in the same respect, I want to be able to have a store that anybody can come to. So we used to all play board games with families when we were young. We had family board game nights or whatnot, whatever we did with our families. I want to bring that back. I think our lives are too busy and we need to slow it down a little bit and that's why maybe you don't have the board games at home or maybe you don't have the card games. Maybe you guys don't have the space, but we do. And now you can bring your family in here and enjoy that time and not be judged uh, and just have that I don't like to say sacred, but have that safe zone of being able to go somewhere, have a great time, and then just enjoy your time with your family, friends, whatever that may be.